Hey guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. ¿Cómo están? How are you today? Hi. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. How was the weekend? I fine. Okay, very good. Did you rest? Descansaron. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. I'm glad to hear that. Very, very good. Así que welcome, guys. This is going to be your session number 13, right? Session number 13. And we're going to, uh, we're going to work on section, uh, section five, ¿verdad? Y también el final exam que lo tenemos eh, para esta semana, okay? So just give me one moment. I'm going to share the um, PowerPoint presentation, okay? De los que ya pasaron a section number five, vamos a ver. ¿Qué, qué se recuerdan que vieron en section, in section number five? What do you remember from section five? Algunos de ustedes pues ya pasaron por esos ejercicios. So I would like to know. Uh, was mm -hmm. and where? Excellent. Where? Very good. What else? Mm. Uh huh. Only was and where? Was and where? The okay. Ah, okay. The negative. the negative form. Very good. Okay. Now we're going to continue, right? Talking about the simple past of verb be. And if you if you notice, right, in sections. One, two, three, and four, actually. Sections one and two, we were working with regular verbs. Section four, uh, section three and four, we were working with irregular verbs, okay? We studied already the um, affirmative, negative, and question form, right? Uh, with simple past, with regular and irregular verbs. So section number five uh, focuses a little bit on the simple past of verb B, okay? And as you know, we got the same, um, I would say, uh, structure, right? Sometimes you find uh, the video after the, uh, well, in the video, you'll, you'll find an explanation, right, from the instructor. And after that, you need to uh, follow the instructions to complete the exercises. And also we got some knowledge uh, checks, right, that you have to complete uh, after you finish, you know, watching each of the videos. And as I was sharing with you before, this is going to be session number 13. Ahí en el chat también les puse ya el anuncio, ¿verdad? Que section five es lo que trabajamos esta semana. Y Thursday, que se lo dedicamos al final exam. Okay, así que get ready. But still, if you have... Uh, questions, you know, with uh, some of the <clears throat> exercises, también you can uh, let me know and I will help you. Ahí lo puede entrar a la clase y pues yo les ayudo. Eh, let's start with the first, like, uh, the first goal, the first objective, okay? Eh, so, can someone help me reading, please? Vamos a ver, ¿quién me puede ayudar a leer? So I, I was looking for the names. Uh, aquí está. Vaya, chicos, so volunteer to read. Just raise your hand and I can see your your name here popping up on the screen. Let me see. What about you, Diana? Diana, can you help me reading? Hi, Diana. Hi, teacher. Can you help me reading, please? 5.0 lesson objective. By the end of the class, you will learn vocabulary related to popular sport in the U.S. and Canada. Thank you very much, Diana. Exactly right. So those are just some, um, I would say, popular sports because actually probably some of them we play them here, some of them probably we don't, <clears throat> right? But let's go ahead and check the list that is presented in, 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 the, in the platform, okay? So it says snapshot, right? Listen and practice. Uh, there you have some sports seasons in the US and Canada. Uh, as you know, well, in El Salvador, we do not have, you know, winter, like the ones they have over there in the United States with snow and everything. Actually, um, we do not have, uh, you know, that type of uh, weather here in El Salvador, right? 
So we have four different seasons right in the States and Canada. Okay, and as you can see there, I don't know if you remember in basic one, okay, you um, studied uh, a lesson on uh, seasons, right, in the United States and Canada. So here they are just mentioning one more time the seasons, but uh, just uh, relating mm -hmm. them to some sports people play there, right? For example, in the spring, okay, in spring, people play golf, soccer, right? Those are the two, um, uh, two options that we have. And then in summer, people play basketball, tennis, um, they play volleyball, and they go swimming, okay? But then when we have fall, right? In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and uh, some of them go hiking, okay? And then in winter, right, we got the, we got four options too. They play hockey, uh, they played sometimes basketball, uh, they go ice skating, and they go skiing, right? So if you see the idea of the, of the video, right, la idea del video y del instructor, verdad, en esa sección, is that you used uh, some of the examples, usar los ejemplos y luego aplicarlos, verdad? Por ejemplo, I know that we, don't, we do not have winter. No sé que no tenemos eh, invierno, ¿verdad? no tenemos este, la primavera como ellos la tienen, etc. Entonces, el instructor ahí les pide que utilicen las cuatro estaciones y que den un ejemplo por cada una, ¿ok? For example, I go, I mean, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer, I go swimming, which is something that we do in El Salvador, by the way. In the fall, I play football. And in the winter, I play basketball, okay? So, but in El Salvador, we do not have a specific, you know, system to play sports. So what are the most popular sports in El Salvador? Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. Tell me examples. What about El Salvador? Mm. These are from the U.S. and Canada, but what about El Salvador? Football. Okay, excellent. We play soccer, right? What else? You mean es natación, teacher? No, 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 not necessarily. Uh -huh, basketball, okay. Muy bien, we play basketball. What else? Swimming. Swimming. Swimming, very good. We got volleyball. Volleyball. Volleyball, okay, very good. Do you play... Tennis, okay. Let's see bike. from here. Um, bike riding. Bike, bike riding, okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Play basketball. Exactly. What else? Well, I think only that, right? Okay. Very good. That's true. What else? Let me see. Mm. Now, from the sports that you already mentioned, okay. Which ones do you practice? Okay. Do you practice soccer or do you play soccer? Do you play basketball? Yes. Um, do you play volleyball? Okay. Yes. Give me your examples. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Dígame. <risa> eh, y, y eso de andar en moto no, no se considera un deporte domingo andan muchos aquí I think so I think so let me see uh, let me look for the name one second um, I think it's the same as in English but let me double check yeah it's the same as motocross right it's motocross uh, it says here, motocross is a form of off-road motorcycle race. Yeah, motocross. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's motocross. We call it motocross. Mm -hmm. That's true. And yes, actually, Anita, it is considered uh, like that. And yeah, it's, it's very popular. It says here in the United Kingdom, right? Okay. Any other example that you may have? Hoy han venido bien callados. 
baseball también, teacher. Baseball, it's true. Actually, um, well, I'm, I don't, I'm not into sports, you know, but I have heard, right, that we have very good uh, baseball players here in El Salvador. Actually, when I was in high school, cuando estaba en bachillerato, recuerdo tener algunas sí. compañeras que, que eran muy, muy buenas, ¿ok? And, y es bastante fuerte el apoyo que le dan aquí en el país. Sí, okay. yeah, a Camil. <laughs> yes, yes, I have heard very good uh, things about, you know, um, eh, uh, baseball players here. Y la mm -hmm. federación los apoya mucho también. Mm -hmm. Okay, eh, another example that you may think of. Fútbol playa. Okay, very good. That's something really cool here in El Salvador. Actually, lots of people come here to play that, right? And also we have our team, right? And they represented El Salvador very well outside the country. Lo representaron super bien, okay? I remember uh, people getting very excited because of la uh, uh, football playa, ¿verdad? Era la selecta de football playa. Okay. Now that you have heard uh, some of the examples, ahora sí, necesito que hagan el ejemplo como está en el video de su instructor, ¿verdad? Ahí tienen, dice, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer, I go swimming. In the fall, I play football. In the winter, I play basketball, ¿ok? Esos son los ejemplos que le dejó su instructor en el video. Ahora bien, I want you to think, ¿verdad? Piense, invente. Si de repente tuviéramos, tuviéramos esa estación acá, if we um, were able to experience, you know, winter here in El Salvador, ¿qué les gustaría hacer? Ahí tienen como cuatro opciones, ¿ok? Así que think of your options, buy in a chat, and I want you to give me your four sentences, ¿ok? So in the spring, in the summer, in the fall, in the winter. Y espero que cuando entren a la sección, ¿verdad? Recuerden que abajo en el video, después de que su instructor les da las indicaciones, ustedes vienen y escriben sus ejemplos. Así que háganlos ahorita, cuando termine, luego va al video y ya los puede eh, ingresar, ¿verdad? Para que ya les quede ahí guardado en los comentarios, ¿ok? Así que let's go ahead and uh, uh, type your examples right in the chat, please. Déjenme ver sus ejemplos en el chat. Vamos a ver. Por cierto, mientras hacen eso, chicos, este, que eh, han practicado con los ejercicios que les he mandado, con la, con las uh, worksheets, las interactive worksheets, ¿cómo les ha ido? ¿Las han usado? ¿Han practicado un poco? Sí. Excelente, muy bien. Ok, and remember, creo que quizás la tarea más grande de, de base, principiantes E3 es, es la lista de verbos, ¿verdad? Así que cuando tenga tiempo, siempre, todos los días, aunque sea unos tres verbos, ¿verdad? Eh, Apréndanselos, porque hay que aprender una lista bastante básica para poder, pues, comunicarnos y poder expresar nuestras ideas en pasado. Especialmente, pues, a veces nos cuesta con los verbos irregulares, Así que esa lista, yo les mandé dos listas, ¿verdad? Usted escoge cuál es la que va a usar o puede complementar una con la otra. Pero sí necesito, ¿verdad? Que tome su tiempito para poder eh, eh, trabajar los verbos, ¿verdad? That's very, very important. Teacher, Digan. Y, y esos links que nos mandó, eh, creo que ahora, nos mandó algo, ¿verdad? No, lo mandé no. el viernes, creo yo. No, pero ahora como que nos mandó algo más. No, hoy solo les mandé el anuncio que esta semana es section number five y a final exam. Pero y links aún no he mandado, ¿ja? porque como no hemos visto tema así, es sólido, hoy lo vamos a no, ver. No, pero los que, los que nos mandó para que hiciéramos este, como tareas extras, pues, para sí, que practicáramos. Sí. Ajá. Bueno, pero mi pregunta es la siguiente, y esos no se pueden descargar. Descargar. No, sí, mandando estoy, ve, al chat. No. No, no, pedí. no, no se descargan. O sea, usted entra, ¿verdad? Sí. Y esas, sí. es, es, pero eso se llaman en línea porque no, o sea, están siempre ahí. Ah, ajá. ajá. Sí, es que yo, yo trabajé, pero pero igual, ¿verdad? Es, es porque como ahí están los verbos en, uh -huh. entonces, este, y lo quise guardar, pero no se pudo. No, no se línea. puede. Ajá, sí. Ah, o sea, bueno. Cuando usted los hace, este, automáticamente pues se limpia el, 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 la, la worksheet. Ajá. Puede ingresar nuevamente para hacerla de nuevo, pero no, no se pueden guardar. Ajá. Ah, ok. 
Sí, perdón, sí, ahí se funcionan de una forma diferente. Ajá. Es como los online exercises. Uh -huh. Pero lo que puede hacer usted, si usted quiere ir guardando su progreso, es como ir tomando capturas de pantalla de lo que usted ha hecho y después uh -huh. revisa y dice, ah, en esto me equivoqué. O bueno, de letra y mal esta uh -huh. palabra. Uh -huh. Puede hacer eso también. Ok, gracias. Vaya, ya sabe. Ok, vamos a ver, aquí veo ya el chat. Uh, como que el semáforo lo veo ya, que sabemos, ok. I have Diana's example. It says, in the spring, I play, so play soccer. In the summer, I go. En este caso, este Diana is, I go swimming. No puedo poner play and go together. If you see the list, veamos la lista. Tenemos play, play baseball, play tennis, tenemos uh, play volleyball, y tenemos go, go swimming, ok. In the fall, I go bike riding. Muy bien. Ok. In the spring, I play soccer. Play soccer in the fall. Uh, she goes. She goes. Remember, right? When we are using the third person singular, remember, right? The rules. Hay que recordar las reglas, ¿verdad? When the verb ends in SS, CH, SH, right? X or O. Right, we need to add ES to the verb, okay? Ahí, ahí sería, in the fall, she goes by writing. In the summer, he plays, right, con S, porque el, el verbo termina en, en consonante, ¿verdad? Así que hay que agregarle S, okay? Then we have, let me see, ¿qué más? I play chess. Uh, in the summer, he plays, but In the winter, I play hockey, muy bien. Eh, she, she, bueno, Basilia, ahí creo que se le fue. Uh, in the spring, I play basketball, ¿verdad? Remember, basketball en inglés tiene un spelling distinto, ya se fijaron, es con K. B-A-S-K-E-T-B-A-L-L, -L, basketball, right? In Spanish, we do it like that, Anita, but we have to be very careful. Eh, let me see, in the winter I play basketball, in the spring I go, to, I, go, I go out for a walk. You can say, I go out for a walk. I go out for a walk. Acuérdense de que cuando manden los mensajes, mándelos to everyone, porque si no a mí me, me lo cambia a, pas a mandarle el mensaje solo a esa persona, así que tiene que ser to everyone. Uh, she, vaya Basilia, she likes, she likes to play soccer in the spring. She likes to play, okay? Vamos a, a, a corregir acá. Veamos, she likes, porque es tercera persona. Y luego cuando yo uso like, pues agrego el, el, el to, la partícula to. She likes to play soccer in the spring. In the spring, I play basketball. In the summer, I go swimming. In the fall, I go bike riding. And in the winter, I go ice skating. Muy bien. Okay. I do. I do yoga. I think it's Adriana. Let me check. Mm. One second. I'm going to double check that for you, okay? Do yoga. See, sí, I do yoga, right? So in the winter, I do yoga or I practice yoga, okay? Muy bien. Eh, let me see. She likes to play soccer in the spring. Muy bien. Uh -huh. She likes. I guess I like <laughs> la mande yo. <laughs> She does exercise every day. She does exercise every day. Muy bien, Deborah. Thank you very much. Okay, what about the rest? I would like to see more examples. It says, Stella, in the summer, I play football. In the spring, I go, I, I'm going to run. Or you can say, I, I Go jogging, diría yo, quizás. Let me see, go jogging. Sí, I go jogging, probably. Voy a correr, a trotar, ¿verdad? Go jogging. Eh, in the spring, I play basketball. In the summer, I play volleyball. Volleyball, muy bien. Volleyball. Mm -hmm. He goes swimming on Sunday in the summer. Very good. Thank you, Vasilia. Okay? So, those examples that you are giving me, are the ones that you need to enter or that you need to use uh, in the in the section from the video, right? I think it's section 5.1, okay? So you watch the video and down, 
okay, you find a section for your comments and you need to enter four examples, right? Like the ones that you just um, typed in the chat, okay? Así como los han hecho en el chat, así van a ir ustedes a la sección y van a digitar sus ejemplos, así como están ahí. Now, guys, I see a little bit of, um, I think we need a, uh, I know that it's not included in section five, but I, I think we need to have like a review on present simple, okay? Veo ahí eh, que te, necesitamos como un repaso así cortito de present simple, ¿verdad? No caería mal si nos queda pues eh, tiempo durante esta, esta semana que son four classes, ¿verdad? Four sessions, session 13, 14, 15, and 16, right? 16 sessions. Entonces, if we are able to cover the material, you know, in class one and two, probably we can have um, a review about present simple, okay? Y en present simple, eso es lo que veo acá. Remember, cuando hacemos nuestras, cuando escribimos nuestras oraciones, hay que asegurarnos que estamos haciéndolo in the right tense, en el tiempo correcto, okay? Muy bien, excellent, good job. Buen trabajo, chicos. Now, let's move on. ¿Alguna pregunta, chicos, hasta ahorita? Or, so far, so good. So far, so good. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. Vamos a ver. In the second section, okay, it's uh, where it says, bueno, I don't know, Deborah, please, can you help me reading the, um, the, the objective for the second section? Mm. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple present uh, W questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation with illustrates how uh, this topic is used in a real life setting. Thank you very much, Deborah. That is correct. Okay, so what, are, what, what we're going to, um, what we're going to review is how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. El módulo anterior, que es principiantes, o si ustedes eh, pueden recordar, hay una sección en donde hablamos solamente de eso, WH questions, ¿ok? During the first, no, during the second week, I think uh, we did that during the second week. Eh, hablamos un poquito sobre los dos tipos de preguntas que teníamos. Vamos a ver quién se recuerda. ¿Cuáles son esos dos tipos de preguntas que tenemos? WH friends. Friends. Ok, ya. Yeah. So yes, 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 no question. question. Muy bien, excelente. Yes, no question. Tenemos yes, no questions y tenemos, ¿cómo se llamaba la segunda? Donde usamos WH question. Information, question. information question. Y ahí utilizamos lo que nos acaba de decir su compañero. Utilizamos a veces una WH word o utilizamos una WH phrase, ¿verdad? Eh, information, no. Um, just no questions. Can you give me an example of a just no question? Mm -hmm. Just no questions? Example? Vamos a ver. No importa si es en presente o en pasado, ¿verdad? It, it's just a just no question. Remember, if we are asking a just no question, do you have a bike? Ah, oh, okay. Do you have a bike? Muy bien. Muy buen ejemplo. Do you have a bike? And I'm going to open here. Vamos a abrir una pizarra. Acá. Bye. Tenemos, do you have a bike? Muy bien. Y pues en mi caso yo respondería, no. Okay, no. I, know. I don't. I don't. Mm -hmm. What about uh, what about another example? Okay, uh, with uh, just no question. Another example with just no question. Did you get up early yesterday? Ah, okay, muy bien. Did you? Oops, sorry. Did you get up early yesterday? Oh. Yes. Very good. Okay, now we're going to ask this to Anita. Anita, did you get up early yesterday? Are you there, Anita? It's not here. Estela, what about you? Estela, did you get up early yesterday? 
Yes, I do. Excellent. Yes, I did. Just now. Okay, muy bien. Now, can you give me an example of uh, information question? Examples? If, with How do you do? How? How do you do? How do you do? But how do you do what? How do you... How do you do es como estás, verdad? Pero, bueno, how do you do? How, how are you doing? Or how do you... How do you prepare, for example? How do you prepare the report, right? How do you prepare the report? ¿Cómo preparas el, el reporte? Y pues ahí me dan las instrucciones, ¿verdad? Okay, you're given the instructions. <coughs> Muy bien. Y pues ahí es una, es una information question, porque no es ni un sí ni un no, sino que estoy buscando esas instrucciones específicas, okay? Another example? Example? Where are you from? Okay, muy bien. Oops, sorry. Where are you from? Again, where are you from? Okay. I am, the person can say, I am from eh, Colombia, for example. No es el caso, ¿verdad? It's just an example. Okay. Very good. Another, another example? What are you going to do tomorrow? Okay. What? are you going to do tomorrow, right? Or what are you doing tomorrow? Pero quizás no lo voy a ocupar porque la, está correcta, pero no lo quiero confundir porque hemos visto eh, pasado y estamos a punto de verlas en presente, ¿ok? Pero sí, what are you uh, going to do tomorrow? Muy bien, ¿ok? Ahora bien, eh, en la sección el instructor les muestra un video. Ok, voy a borrar acá, permítanme. Quiero ver drawings. Y voy a cerrar acá. The instructor shows, uh, I mean, talks a little bit on the video and you are presented with a conversation. Tenemos una conversación, ¿ok? Y I will read first and then I will ask you, right, to help me reading. Uh, we got a conversation between Lauren and Justin, ¿ok? So it says, so Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, uh, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch it on television, okay? Actually, he was talking about what? I mean, the sports he likes uh, to watch on television, right? So now let's go ahead and have some volunteers to read the conversation. Please raise your hand if you want to participate. Thank you, Boris. You will help me with Justin, Adriana, you will help me with Lauren, okay? So let's start. Adriana, you are... me. Yo soy Lauren. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you are a really good athlete. When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. <laughs> I just watch them on television. Okay, thank you very much. Good job, guys. Thank you for your participation. Can we have more volunteers? Someone else who wants to participate? No one? Okay, no problem. Very good. Now, what are the questions? What are the questions that you're able to identify? Okay, information questions. ¿Dónde están las information questions? Veamos. What do you do in your free time? Very good, right? So the first question, and I'm going to open again the board. Vamos a abrir una pizarrita. Give me one second. Teacher, Dígame. I have a question. Dígame. Eh, ¿De qué sección este, está esa conversación? Esta es section 5. Sección 5 y si no me equivoco, esa es la sección 5.2 o 5.3. Es que en mi... En, no les aparece bueno, ahí. 
No, yo, yo este, ya pasé esta sección y no tengo esa información. Quiero ver, déme un segundo. De mi segundo. Si no, es que quizás se, se, se mezclaron las secciones, permítanme. Voy a adelantarlo porque creo que tiene... Porque quizás se, 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 se desfasaron y en la presentación tengo más de slides. Ajá, tiene razón, tengo más de slides. Voy a adelantarlas hasta donde estoy, hasta donde usted me dice. Me a Ahorita le comparto conmigo. One second. Porque a mí el 5.1 un tal statement with the pass of B. Sí, aquí las tengo. Es la que seguía, la conversación que seguía ahorita. Voy. Wait. Share screen. Y acá está. Ok, esa es la que le parece a usted, ¿verdad? This is the conversation. Yes, teacher. Bye. Okay, estaba más adelante. Yes. Creo que había algunas incluidas antes de esa. I'm sorry. Okay, but thank you very much, Basilio. Okay. This is um, in the conversation, right? Uh, since we're going to check a little bit on what and where. Okay. Um, we got uh, the name of the lesson. It says I was born in Korea. The same thing, right? You listen to the instructions from uh, the video, right? In section, I think this is 5.0 or 5.1, verdad? And there you have the conversation. It says, uh, Chuck and Melissa, right? Uh, where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No. My English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here, he says, right? Okay, let's go ahead and read the conversation. So now I need two more volunteers. Volunteers to read the conversation. Thank you, Boris. Uh, and someone else? Let's see, everybody. Boris, you will help me with chalk. And I need a girl for Melissa. Would you like to participate, Basilia? Thank you. Okay, and then I have uh, Boris, right? So Boris, you will help me with Chuck, and Basilia, you will help me with Melissa. Go ahead. Okay. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I can't. I was born in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was. Only 17. Did you go to college no, right no. away? No. My English wasn't very good. So I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. English is really good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, thank you very much for it, and uh, Basilia. Okay, I need two more volunteers. Two voluntarios más. Let me see. Ailey Michelle, can you help me, please? Uh, with uh, Melissa. Okay. Thank you. And what about? Let's see. Well, I don't know if I have a volunteer, un voluntario, o lo escojo, eh, escojo yo a la siguiente persona. Volunteer, Ailey Michelle, she's going to help me with Melissa. And what about you, Rome, Romeo or Romero? Are you there? Ah, no, it's Ana, Anita. Anita, Veronica, Romero. Can you help me with Chuck? 
Very good. So let's start. Uh, you are going to begin, Anita, okay? Okay. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the USA? Uh, are you? 1999? 1999. 1999. You were, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English was, wasn't very good, so I taught English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Then your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, thank you very much. Now, hoy sí, vamos a ver lo de las preguntas, ¿verdad? Eh, what, what is the question that you can find there? Where were you where born? Were you born? Where exactly, you born? very good. Okay, the question is where were you born? Let me open here a pizarrita. Vamos a ver. So the question that you have there, it's where were you born? Okay, where were you born? And if you see, uh, we got some of the elements, right, that we need for um, the question, the information question structure, right? So tenemos where. Y que es where is a W H word, right? There. Then we have um, verb, right? Verb, pero en pasado, verdad? Luego de eso tenemos el subject, right? Subject. Subject. Uh huh. Y después tenemos complement. And then complement. Very good. Complement. Muy bien. Okay. So, prácticamente es lo que es lo que tenemos, verdad? Con respecto a la estructura y Si ustedes se fijan abajo, ¿verdad? Hay, ups, abajo hay como más ejemplos, pero en este caso de pasado, ¿verdad? For example, you have, do you go to college right away? Sí. Do you go to college right away? Que es la estructura que vimos la semana pasada. Auxiliary, subject, verb in base form, complement, ¿verdad? And question mark at the end. Entonces, eh, that's the difference. Pero luego de, bueno, por cierto, no hay, no hay preguntas sobre el vocabulario. Preguntas de vocabulario, ¿no hay? No, Muy bien, vamos a ver. In the structure, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos a hablar un poquito acerca de pas, eh, de, del pasado simple, del verbi. En las oraciones afirmativas, ¿verdad? Siempre vamos a tener el, el, el was and were, ¿verdad? Solo esas dos formas tenemos para, para pasado. Si ustedes se fijan en presente, tenemos am, is and are. But in past, I have only was and were. Those are the two forms of verb. Entonces tengo I was, you were, he was, she was, and it was. O sea que cuando yo utilice I, you, he, she, it, and singular nouns, y los singulares, los nombres singulares, okay, I'm going to use was. But then on, uh, you have uh, the section where we have the different pronouns. Tenemos we, you, and they. When I'm using we, you, and they, I'm going to um, I'm going to use the form of the verb be, que es where. We wear, you wear, and they wear. Okay. Entonces, eh, cuando yo ya lo utilizo de forma negativa, sucede lo mismo. Solo que yo decido si voy a utilizar la forma completa que es the full form, was not, or were not, ¿verdad? O si yo quiero usar la, las contracciones que es wasn't or weren't, eh, pues generalmente cuando hablamos usamos las contracciones wasn't or weren't y cuando escribimos pues usamos las formas completas. Entonces sucede lo mismo cuando yo uso I, you, he, she, it en singular nouns. Para las negativas voy a usar wasn't. Y para you, we, you, they en plural nouns, I'm going to use weren't. Okay? So was, 
and, and where for affirmative and wasn't and weren't for the negative form. Okay? ¿Hay alguna pregunta hasta el momento? So far, so good. So far, so good. Thank you very much. Excellent. Now, vamos a ver acá. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio, ¿ok? Con la forma afirmativa. ¿Cuál es la forma afirmativa, dijimos? Was and where. Was, where. Muy bien, ¿ok? So, let's go ahead and read the sentences, ¿ok? It says, last night I... I qué? Was. I was. Muy bien, ¿ok? Ah, lo voy a poner aquí en el, en el... Bueno, vamos a hacer una cosa. Lo vamos a ir haciendo juntos. Pero deme un momentito. Uh, one second. Vamos a hacerla juntos y voy a abrir acá la presentación para ir agregando las respuestas. Uh, aquí está. Ok. Vamos a hacer los participantes a un lado y la camarita la pondremos por aquí al lado también. Okay, entonces decíamos I was. What is the meaning of sleepy? Sleepy, what is that? What is the meaning of sleepy? Dormí. No. Es un adjetivo. Dormilón. Mm -hmm. Durmiendo. Estaba mm -hmm. con sueño, ¿verdad? I was uh, adormitado, decimos en español. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was, I was sleepy, okay, very good, muy bien. What about the second one? Yesterday, what? muy bien, it, excelente, okay. It was, mm. it was very good. Very hot. It was very, very hot, right? This is, a, what about number three? Last week, where? 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 Last week, we were. Muy bien, on, we on, were on it, holiday. On holiday. holiday. It was, it, was it was great. It was great. It was great. Very good. Excellent. What about the next one? Last year, she? She were. She were. was. She was. She was. She was. Only 20 Only years old. Only 20 years old. Very good. On Sunday. Were. 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 Swimming pool. Very good. Okay. Where in the swimming pool. Okay, yesterday was 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 Sam, Sam birthday. Mm. Sam's birthday. Very good. Was you were you were, were you were at my, my party. party? Very good. You were at my party, right? No, yo no estaba ahí. Como no, dice ya estabas. You were at my <laughs> party. Okay, it was you. Muy bien. Okay, so all what we have to do here is just to pay attention to the subject pronoun, right? And make sure we're using the right form of the verb be for affirmative sentences, right? And then uh, I'm going to save the changes here. What about what about the negative form? Okay, veamos a ver con la forma negativa, okay? I'm going to switch. Acuérdense que luego pues yo les comparto esta información a través del chat, right? Eh, para que también ustedes la tengan. Muy bien. Now, what happens with the uh, negative form? Okay, vamos a ver acá. Okay, eh, son las mismas oraciones, verdad? Pero esta vez vamos a hacerlas de forma negativa. Okay, so let's see. What will be number one? Last night, was, I was, was I wasn't sleepy. Muy bien, I wasn't, wasn't sleepy, was right? Sleepy. Muy bien. Okay, I wasn't sleepy. What about yesterday? It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't too hot. hot. It wasn't too hot, right? Last week. Where, where, where in at school? Where at school? Muy bien. Where in, right? We weren't at school. Muy bien. Excellent. Okay, ahí está. What about uh, the next one? Last year. Here, um, wasn't, wasn't, wasn't five, year, five years old. Very good. Five and years old. Wasn't five years old. Excellent. On Sunday. Oops, I'm sorry. At home. Very good, right? They weren't at home, right? They were somewhere else, right? What about yesterday? Was, wasn't, wasn't some birthday. birthday. 
Espérenme que estoy escribiendo mal. Wasn't, ok. La teacher va. Está. Ok, very good. Ok, yesterday wasn't Sam's birthday. Correct. Very good, ok. And you. You weren't, you I weren't at my, my party. You weren't. weren't at my party, ok. Excellent, good job, guys. Good job. So you see, it's very, very easy, okay? All what you have to do is to make sure you're using the right one, okay? Vamos a ver acá, así rapidito, uh, speaking exercise, okay? Eh, si es I, voy a usar afirmativo. Was. 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 You. Was. Was. He. Was. was. She. Was. Was, okay? If it is negative, and if it is we, that's going to be we. Were. 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 It. Was. was. They. Weren't. Weren't. I. Was. Was. Wasn't. Wasn't. Very good, okay? So, um, now, after seeing, you know, the, like the basic uh, structure of the verb being passed, Luego en la parte del video también muestran eh, eh, algunos ejemplos, right? The name of the lesson is uh, statements with the past of be, okay? And then uh, your instructor, ahí el instructor les da una estructura, la que pueden ver ahí arriba, dice subject plus was, where plus complement. Acordémonos que el verbo es ser o estar, ¿verdad? El verbo es ser o estar. Entonces, yo digo, I was at home yesterday. Right? I was at home yesterday. Yo estaba en mi casa. Okay? I was at home. And then, uh, in este caso, I was, um, I can say, I was 17, right? Back then. En aquel entonces, ¿verdad? Ah, yo tenía, decimos nosotros en español, 17. Okay. Mm -hmm. Entonces, it depends, right, in the context you want to use. Yes, ser o estar. Luego, abajo dice, este, bueno, ahí está la especificación, ¿verdad? Que les dejó su instructor en el video. You, we, and they, uh, we use where. Y por, para I, he, she, it, usamos was, ¿ok? Then, statements with the past of be. Tenemos algunos ejemplos, ¿ok? So, veamos. Saraí, ayúdeme con el primer ejemplo, por favor. Acá, espérame, voy a abrir un marcador, aquí está. Ok, eh, está por ahí, Sara. Sara, Sara. Sí. Vaya, el primer ejemplo. I was born in Korea. I was born in Korea, thank you. Oh. Eh, what about the second one, Estelita? Estelita, are you there? You were pretty young. You were pretty young. Muy bien. Thank you very much. What about Deborah? Deborah, number three. She was 17. She was 17. Very good. What about the next one? Let's see. Uh, ay, ¿dónde está? Uh, Diana, what about the next one? Number four. We were born in the same year. We were born in the same year. Uh, Flor, Florcita Gar uh, de Garcia, the next one. Lo siento, estoy afónica. No se preocupe, ¿ok? What about Anita de Carmen? They were in Korea in 1998. 98, very good, Anita. ¿Ok? The next one. What about Ailey Michelle? The next one, this one. I was born in the U.S. U.S., very good. What about Cecilia? Cecilia Estrada, the next one. You weren't very old. You weren't very old, very good. Uh, Dina, Dina, what about the next one? She wasn't in college. She wasn't in college. Boris, what about the next one? We weren't born in the same country. Very good. Gabriela, what about the next one? Gabriela Jovelli. No está, Gaby? Okay, what about, what about Erika? Erika Quintanilla? She's not there too. <laughs> okay, volunteer <laughs> for the last one? Me. They were Go in ahead. 
U.S. Okay. Work in the U.S. in 1998. Muy bien. Thank you very much. Okay. So, as I was mentioning before, it is up to you if you want to use the contractions, right? Ahí están las contractions. Tenemos wasn't, que es lo mismo que usar was not, y tenemos weren't, ¿verdad? Were not. Entonces, it depends, right? You choose. Now, from the examples, as you can see, we got the same structure that we have uh, in the upper section. It says subject plus was were was complement, okay? Now, um, what I want you to do, guys, right now is to prepare at least uh, three examples. Prepare three examples using uh, the verb be in simple past, okay? Three examples. Uh, if you want, go to the chat. Vayamonos al chat. Okay, go to the chat, and I want to see your three examples. Okay, I'm going to close here, and I'm going to open the chat. Give me one sec. Because so think of three examples, okay. Ah, Gaby, okay. Ahí está Gaby diciendo no que no le funciona el micrófono. Tranquila, no se preocupe. Okay, so the rest, let's go ahead and type three examples using the verb be in past, okay. It could be was, it could be were, wasn't, or weren't, okay. And try to give me your personal examples, okay. Hábleme de usted, o de su familia, o de, uh, okay. <laughs> Deborah, this I was young. Siempre, siempre, Deborah. Okay? Always. Ana del Carmen says, I was born in San Vicente. Very good. Excellent. Yesterday, uh, bueno, ese Basilia ya sería pasado continuo. Ahí sería, I was doing exercise. Ajá, entonces ahí sí no aplica. Acordémonos de esto. Cuando usamos was and were solito, el verb to be, no necesitamos pues un verbo adicional, ¿verdad? Aileen Michelle says I was born in Chalatenango. Boris también está utilizando pasado progresivo, ¿verdad? Eso es pasado progresivo. I was playing chess yesterday. Okay. Cuando usamos verb be, solo verb be, ¿verdad? No va acompañado de nadie más. Cuando lo usamos como cero estar, ¿verdad? You were very old, dice Adriana. You were very old. My mom, my mom, Deborah, my mom was, porque es she. She was born in San Vicente, ¿verdad? We were in the park. Muy bien. We were in the park. Excellent. Okay. Can you give me more examples? I was born in Zacatecoluca, dice Adrianita. I was born in Zacatecoluca. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Now I will ask you, I was 26 years old last year. I was very shy, dice Gaby, okay? He wasn't in the party, okay? He wasn't at the party in ese caso. We were in Zoom. Yes, we were in Zoom last Thursday, right? Very good. Okay, excellent. Very good examples. Thank you very much. Now take a look at this question, guys. Where were you yesterday? I was with my family yesterday, dice Diana, okay? Where were you yesterday in the morning, okay? I'm asking you the question. Ahí les tiro la pregunta, okay? Where were you yesterday in the morning? ¿A dónde estaban? Okay, think. Where were you yesterday in the morning? Invente, no me diga I was at home, ¿verdad? Invente una respuesta ahí, okay? Where were you yesterday in the morning? Uh, let's invent, I was in my favorite restaurant. Ayer han de haber salido, ayer era el día de la amistad, el día del amor, okay? So it says, I was in my favorite restaurant. I was in my favorite, ese es mi ejemplo, what about you? Okay, where were you yesterday in the morning? I was in my favorite restaurant. Okay, just give me one second. Deme sus ejemplos, okay? Teacher, una pregunta. Dígame, mi niña, dígame. ¿Así se escribe where, where, o se le fue dos veces? Ay, no, tiene razón, la ticha. Está dormida la ticha. Tan bella, muchas gracias. Where were you? 
No hay problema. Where were you yesterday? I was in my bed, dice <laughs> Yesterday morning. Sí, ayer era un día para descansar, es la verdad. Sé que muchos de ustedes solo ese día también tienen libre. Where were you yesterday morning? Uh -huh. I was alone, says Boris, ¿ok? No, you were not alone. Actually, ahí estaba usted, estaba disfrutando de su compañía, ¿verdad? Y disfrutando de la tele, de la comida, ¿ok? I was in in house de my friends. Vaya, ahí, Ailey Michelle, este, vamos a decir así. I was in my friends. In my friend's, así mire, in my friend's house, ok. I was in my friend's house. Ahí está. Muy bien, I was in my friend's house. Eh, I was in the beach, dice Diana. I was with my friends. I was at home with my sons, dice Deborah. Uh, a ver, ¿quién más? I was in my bed. Me dijo, ah, I was in the supermarket, dice Basilia. Okay, very good. I was in los panes eating pupusas, dice Cecilia. Que rico. It sounds so delicious. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? Aparte de Débora. Muy buenos ejemplos, muy buenos ejemplos, chicos. Okay. Ah, bueno, ahí está, ahí estamos usando el pasado progresivo, ¿verdad? I was cooking roast beef. Okay, pero que se oye delicious, actually. I was cooking roast beef, okay? Now, um, what, uh, give me two more examples. Dos ejemplos más, quiero ver. Okay. Bueno, pueden hablar de ustedes o de alguien más también, ¿verdad? No hay problema. Okay, for example, I can say my parents, my parents were in the church, right? My parents, bueno, de hecho no es cierto porque ellos no saben mucho, así que my parents were in the church, okay? But you can give examples like that. So you can use um, eh, uno y el otro, okay? Very good. Now, that is the structure, guys, that we're going to use, right? When we want to um, talk about verb in past, okay? Así como lo han hecho, está súper, súper bien. Los felicito. Acuérdense que Ejemplos así como los que ustedes me han dado son los que ustedes van a venir y van a ingresar en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Cuando tienen este, la, cuando el instructor les da, les da como el, el permiso, ¿verdad? Usted puede participar en este foro, entonces viene y usted agrega ahí esos, esos ejemplos, ¿ok? Así que, guys, do you have any questions? ¿Hay alguna pregunta antes de finalizar? No, teacher. So far, so good. Bye. Excelente. So Excelente. Very, very good, okay? So, well, guys, actually, um, very good job. Okay, thank you, Vasilia, y por advertirnos sobre las slides que estaba, estaba presentando las otras y luego, pues, ella está bien pendiente, así que thank you very much. Bueno, chicos, el objetivo de esta semana es ese, que finalicemos la sección number five, section number five. Acuérdense que la inscripción va de la mano con, el, con la finalización, ¿verdad?, de todas las actividades dentro de la plataforma. Me imagino que algunos de ustedes ya terminaron, ¿verdad? Which is something good. Pero igual eh, vamos a seguir viendo como un repasito de algunas cosas, ¿verdad? Eh, que siempre están incluidas dentro de la plataforma. Y pues tenemos tres días para eso. Jueves, ¿qué hacemos los días jueves en la clase, en, las, en the session 16? Pues prácticamente vemos el examen o la, la última prueba, ¿verdad? Y revisamos todos los ejercicios que todo haya salido bien. Así que, if you do not have any questions, guys, I'm going to stop here. Me quedo acá. Ha sido un gusto atenderles, ¿verdad? Thank you very much for joining, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Thank Good you. Night. Thank you tomorrow. Welcome. Thank you. Tomorrow. Bye. See you Bye. tomorrow. Bye. Thank you very much. You too. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.